In this video, we'll balance the equation for Cr plus HCl. So this is chromium plus hydrochloric acid. First thing we need to do is count the atoms up. One chromium, one hydrogen, and one chlorine. On the product side, we have one chromium, two hydrogens, and three chlorine atoms. Let's balance the chlorines first and see what happens with that. So let's just put a three in front of the HCl. When we do that, we have one times three, That'll balance the chlorine atoms. One times three, that'll give us three hydrogen atoms. So we have a bit of a problem now because we have a three here and a two here. Everything else is balanced. The only real way for us to deal with that is to double this number here, get it to be an even number. So let's make this a six. So now I have one times six, six hydrogens, one times six, six chlorines. All right, I think I can fix that. If I take and put a three in front of the H2, two times three, that'll give us six. And then for the chlorine, I'm gonna to have to put a two in front of the chromium chloride, chromium three chloride. So I have two times this three here. That'll give me six. That balances the chlorines, but the two goes to everything. So I have one times two. So now I have two chromium atoms, but chromium's all by itself. So we can just put a two here one times two, that'll give us two. Now everything's balanced. So the key here was when we had that odd number, we doubled that to six. We took it from three to six. When that gave us the even number, it made it a lot easier to balance. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for CR plus HCl. Thanks for watching.